Hey guys, it's time for the question of the week. And first I wanna say happy new year, happy decade, happy 2020 to everyone. Hope everyone had um, a fabulous new year's and um, made it past the holiday season. It's also happy full wolf moon day <laughs> and lunar eclipse day, right preceding um, a major portal of an 11-11 day which would be tomorrow, January 11th. So um, there's a lot of energy circulating around, and if you happen to be feeling the effects of them, that's perfect. It's all coming in and affecting you, so that at the end of it, when you come out of the end of it, you'll be balanced more. Just be gentle with yourselves, feel the feelings, but do not believe any of the crazy thoughts. Okay, so um, we'll jump right into the question now. The question comes from someone on my YouTube channel. And it, I thank you for the question. The question is, do you still, do you stop wanting your twin flame once your energy is balanced? And this is a really good question. Um, and of course, as usual, there's not just a yes or no answer. For the most part, yes. Believe it or not, yes. You, you do, for the most part, stop wanting to be with your twin flame um, in the way that we, in the physical sense, and especially when we, you know, start the twin flame journey, how badly and how desperately we want to be with our twin flame, right? That whole needing to almost, um, the yearning, the longing, that type of intensity, that level of want, yes, that goes away, that stops. Um, why? Well, because the whole point of this journey, the whole point of even balancing, and what balancing and shifting closer into alignment with your soul does is it causes you to remember, <laughs> to remember that you, your soul, you are enough, you are everything, you are everything that you could possibly want, right? Um, everything that you could possibly desire, you are that. It's like Rumi said, the great Rumi, you know, stop looking outside of yourself, I'm paraphrasing here, but stop looking outside of yourself because all that you want, you already are, right? Um, and you are, and, that, and that's truth. And you know, your soul knows this. And, you know, the, the whole point of resonance and of shifting and having these, these epiphanies and these aha moments during this journey and throughout this journey, which are so amazing and beautiful and these synchronicities, it's all about remembrance, getting back in touch, shifting back into your soul, where you, your soul, you already know all this. You already know you are everything. And to want something in the physical sense where, you know, we yearn for it, we long for it, we almost need it, you know, um, that any kind, anything wanting, missing, yearning for, longing for, all of that, it denotes a sense of lack. It denotes a sense that we want something or we miss something or we, you know, yearn for something. Why? Because we think we don't have that. Um, and so when you know that you are everything that you want, you don't have that sense of lack. You don't have that sense of, oh, I don't have anything because or I'm missing something because you are that and you're full and whole and complete on your own. And that right there is a definition of loving yourself. And of course, that's the ultimate um, you know, point of this journey. So in that sense, yes, the wanting that you feel um, on the physical level, yes, is it stops. It stops once your energy regarding your twin flame and your twin flame journey is balanced. Now, of course, you hear me say, like, you know, I say you can choose to be with your twin flame. Well, you don't choose to be with your twin flame. Um, your twin flame will be there, and um, you can choose to be with someone else or not or whatever. You can choose to be on your own. Um, you know, it should, you know, do what you want in the present moment. Now, that when I say you can do that and do what you want in the present moment, that kind of want is not, you know, the whole yearning, missing, needing type of a want, right? It's just basically in the moment what you feel like doing, <laughs> right? Um, and you're free to do whatever you want in any given moment when you don't have your fear-based energy there, you know, focusing and obsessing and pushing you towards saying and telling you and making you believe that you want something else because you don't want anything, right? Everything is perfect. Everything is 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 exactly right in every moment where you are you know you're fulfilled you know you have everything you desire is within you and so knowing that your soul does have a desire it is not like a physical wanting it has nothing to do with any kind of physical feeling of want um but what's meant by soul desire is that your soul your soul desires itself okay and yourself your soul self which is your soul is everything it is everything in the universe because it's directly from source. 
and it's enough. So in the sense that your twin flame is your soul and your soul desires itself, then yes, you still desire your twin flame on the soul level, but you don't feel it on a physical level. It's not like the same thing that, um, you know, you're probably feeling now where you're wanting or longing or missing or hoping for to be with someone, be this twin flame or you're heartbroken or any depressed or anxious or anything like that. It's not felt like that. That's not soul desire. Soul desire is contentment and peace and just being, just being. <laughs> That's it. It's just being. And because when you are in t shifted into alignment as close, closer and closer with your soul, that's when you are realizing your true soul's desire and your soul desires itself. So, of course, the desire is your twin flame because your twin flame is your soul. Um, so, on, on the soul level, there is a soul's desire, but it doesn't trickle down where it, 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 it um, translates into any kind of physical feeling or any kind of feeling of you want something because you don't have it. That's not soul's desire. Um, from what I would assume, this question came from like the wanting of this question. <laughs> um, that definition, yes, that stops. That all stops as you balance out your energy and you shift closer into alignment with your soul. Because remember, your soul is everything. And um, having said that, I would like to, I'm making an announcement that um, I have decided for this new year to um, branch out to, um, it turns out that many of the um, principles of my twin flame work have um, helped people that I know who are not even on a twin flame journey, help them get through other challenging aspects of their lives help people get through heartbreak and other relationships, not twin flame related, help people get through grief, passing of loved ones, had help people um, overcome anxiety, depression, stress of all kinds, financial um, issues, self image and self confident issues, also insecurity issues, and many more. I've had um, known people who've been able to like stop meds completely, not saying you should do this without consulting your doctor at all, but I'm just saying, like many people have gotten off of heart, um, what is it called, blood pressure medications, anti-anxiety meds, and antidepressants. And so that led me to think, wow, if, if I can, if this stuff helps so many people, I'd like to create a course, like non-twin flame related, um, to help others. And, you know, I am looking for people who would like to work with me. And I'm going to create this course as I work with the group of people um, closely with me, personally with me, and, and create a course, it's like a six to eight week course um, designed not just focus on people going through the twin flame journey, but people who are dealing with any of those things, heartache, grief, anxiety, depression, sadness, you know, um, self-image issues, self-confidence issues, insecurity, um, anything like that. And so, um, and financial issues. And this, this, uh, this truth, this truth that, um, you know, I share with people for the twin flame journey, it is truth. And truth is not discerning, right? It, it isn't just true for one person and true for another, per not true for another person, right? It's truth is truth. <laughs> it just is. So, um, you know, if, if it can help people, you know, dealing with these kind of, of problems and, and, and issues and feelings do the twin flames journey, then it naturally followed that it helped many people that I've shared this with deal with those same kind of feelings that aren't on a twin flame journey. And so I've decided that I am opening up, um, I'm thinking about opening up um, a course and starting a course and building a course and creating a course for the people not on a twin flame journey. Of course, if you're on a twin flame journey, you can do it as well, but it's not going to be focused on, you know, magnetizing your twin flame or anything like that. It's just going to be focused on helping through the actual feelings and, you know, the issues that arise due to the twin flame journey or just due to life in general, right? And so um, if anyone is interested in, in working with me with this, I would love to hear it. Um, I'm trying to get some feedback to see, you know, if there's enough people interested, if I would, you know, then take people on and build this course and create it with these people. And you'd be able to work closely with me for six to eight weeks. And, you know, again, it's not going to be about twin flame related stuff. It's going to be about, you know, helping you overcome whatever feelings you're feeling because of your twin flame journey, um, which, of course, naturally could fall. fall flow over into twin flame stuff, you know, if you are on a twin flame journey. But, you know, um, it, it's not going to be totally focused on that. It'll be at a much lower price point than my twin flame um, program is, programs are. And so um, if anyone is interested, please just comment below this video. Let me know. I'm just trying to get like, you know, kind of like a, a numbers wise, you know, if, if I have enough people interested in, in, in building this with 
with a group of people or I can just build it on my own or whatever. So I'm just, I'm just trying to see if anyone would be interest, interested in working with me with, on this project. So um, definitely just comment below and, and yes, I'm interested and um, I will take that into consideration. And thank you for this question. Please also continue to submit your questions. I will answer them eventually in a future video. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Happy full moon, happy eclipse, happy weekend, happy 11-11 portal day tomorrow. And um, I will see you in the next video. Lots of love.